This video topic has been pending for quite some time and honestly it was because every time I would try to talk about it I couldn't think about anything because my life at least emotionally has improved so much that presently if I try to put myself in a mindset to talk about the things that are making me sad I don't get sad often I get angry angry it's not necessarily fueled by sadness, it's usually frustration. But it is possible to get mad out of something that makes you sad, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, maybe one day I'll illustrate it better. I feel like I'm ready for this topic because of something that happened that I happen to discuss pretty often in here. And if I don't in here, then I definitely have conversations with people outside of here about this. But the last thing that made me cry had to be a co-worker who was trying to post for a promotion but they literally shot him down because he wasn't going to have full availability when it comes to his schedule and the reason is very simple he is a father of two very small children and has a wife or girlfriend i'm not sure if he's married it doesn't matter what matters is he is a family man but because he was going to need a very specific schedule they said uh with those restrictions we can't consider you and then it made me cry because i had to look for someone to talk to as soon as i found out about this and i was like yo why are we this way why is it that here we have a great person a great candidate a great man like we need his presence his essence what he represents his attitude he has some of the best customer service i have seen and yet here we are not supporting him why are we okay with that why do we allow that so it like hit a sensitive nerve for me because i couldn't stop but think about the fact that if you have a child, it's almost like you're ruining your life. Even though you shouldn't be discriminated against because of that, it's like, oh shoot, this person has kids, mm, they're going to need a specific schedule. And why are we doing that? Why are we not giving people the support that they need? And even though I personally don't have any children and I'm not married, one of the things that keeps me from pursuing things like that is the fact that I know my values. To me, that stuff will matter. To me, relationships are important. My family bonds, whatever I may have, are important. So I know that by me selling my labor in this fashion, it's like I'm selling my literal soul and life. So I'm thinking, why do we live in a culture where it is promoted that in order for you to advance in your career, you have to sacrifice something that shouldn't be negotiable? such as family. And then I thought about how my father failed me as a kid. And I thought, yeah, it's because he 1000% put all of his little ass careers before us. And it was a disastrous choice because it's not like this man made sure that I was put through college. It's not like he made sure that I had resources in general. If I would have had a father who was really present and invested in my life, I'm pretty sure my fucking life would have been a whole lot different. So that's why if I ever come off like I'm resentful of certain parenting styles, this is part of the reason why. This is something that fuels me and motivates me. But with the case of my parents, both of them had jobs so it's not like money should have been a problem. But for my father, I guess in his mind, he had other plans, other thoughts, other ideas. And being a father was like hindering him from accomplishing that. So I'm thinking, well, sweetie, if you had goals in life that you wanted to fulfill, you should have thunk that before having children. Because after having children, your life could have been over or should have been over as you knew it and that's why it's best for you to wait but you had these kids but you didn't want to have the consequences associated with kids your finances are going to take a hit but he did the complete opposite and now none of his kids are like getting along here i am just independently pushing 
as best as I can with whatever little bit of resources I have been able to obtain. So yeah, so that was the last thing that made me cry because I just feared that this colleague of mine, being such a great guy, trying to be responsible, trying to be there for the team, but also for his family, and here we are declining him simply because although his availability would have been pretty good anyway, which is uh, he could still close on some days, he could open on some days, and he could also be available during the weekends, they just outright said no. And unfortunately, I have to play devil's advocate here and I'm thinking, well, I can see why they're doing it and it's because you're in a different tier now when you're management. You just, in a sense, you're handing over your life, your own call, pretty much. And of course, that will be disruptive. So maybe that's why when I was examining all of the folks who have held those kinds of positions at my job, parents never lasted. And I have only two, no, three vivid memories of people who have kids. And again, they did not last there very long. The rest of the folks, even the folks who are older, as in they're in their 50s, they didn't have any kids and these are people with like over 20 years of experience in this career so i understand that retail is not supposed to be something that's permanent but there are good management positions out there that pay well and people are looking for that you have to get paid you have to make money but why is it acceptable that we have to sacrifice something as sacred as family in the pursuit of resources and then say that you finally obtain financial security when you're fucking 40 or 45 or 50 your life is like on its way to being over because that's not an ideal time to be having no kids your energy level is going to be low your physical well-being is going to be on the decline and that's when you want to start building a home and a family no fuck you fuck that this culture of workaholism needs to change well you guys that's it that's my story of the last thing that made me cry i am so happy that i didn't cry during my recount of the story because um it, it hit me pretty hard but fortunately i got the immediate support that i needed because i was able to chat with someone who 100 percent understood where i was coming from and they also explained to me that that's just the way things are and we are trying to do things to change that on a local level but this needs a massive support and that's where we are not at i intend to put out videos that sort of hint at what is going on that may incur resistance when it comes to changing anything and maybe you guys will agree or disagree but but i really do think that this era of having to pick your career over your family and then leaving your family alone for long periods of time it's bullshit and it's been proven to not work and people are actually happier when they get to have energy and time to focus on shit outside of work all right i'll see you soon thanks for watching